I'm Jessie and I study theatre and performance. I started very much as with, with an interest in theatre and then I ended up becoming focused on dance because of my fascination for movement and for uh, the body and how that relates to thinking. So I'm really considering what does it mean to move and what does it mean to think and how does the body, what kind of role does the body play in that? That's also been one of the things that I've uh, <laughs> I've been kind of angry about or frustrated with the idea of of the dualism between mind and body, because my thinking has always been very much a bodily experience. If I'm behind my computer writing, or if I'm in class presenting or talking or whatever, that's, I'm very much aware of my body. I've always been. Yeah, and what I don't think fascinating is that you, that it's so hard to mind what you're saying when you're talking about it, because it's so, it, so easy to, to make that distinction between mind and body. I even do it. As far as I don't believe at all that, that dualism exists, it's not two separate things, it's one. Thinking in itself is a very physical process. Like your brain is physical. <laughs> so I have two horses, I have a cat and a dog, and I very much enjoy going to art shows and exhibitions to the museum, the theater, of course. And I have now started my own business, which, which is a kind of extended dramaturgy business in which I help people with their projects and ideas. Thinking back about how it was for me as a teenager, I think it was always kind of a, a stop on the way or something I had to get through. I think a lot of it was that I never felt as if I fit in or that I belonged there. I, had, I was very eager to go into the world. <laughs> and the most important things that I learned since high school, there it was very hard to, to wrap my head around because there's so much I've learned since high school. But I think there are certain things that stand out surfing like I learned how to surf and, and actual uh, like ocean surfing so wave surfing I'm, I'm quite a perfectionist so I'll never be as good as I as I think I have to be <laughs> in my head but I've decided that that doesn't like that doesn't matter I'm not going to be good I'm just going to do it and you don't have to be good because I'm not a good surfer at all but it is this kind of thing where I think I can't do it, but I am doing it anyway. And I was always kind of okay with that, but now I'm really seeing the value in that, that it's okay to fail and it's good to fail as well. Failure makes you grow. It also keeps you humble, which I think is an important one. And it, it's, Failure is for me a lot about interrelationality. So where am I in this world? What am I trying? How do I relate to others who are trying the same thing? How, um, how do you ask for help? Related to that is I think that I learned how to, how and when to take up space, to, to claim my own space and to kind of relate to setting boundaries, but it's also just embodying space and how to do that and how to relate to others in that space or the space itself, which is something I wasn't good in high school at all. Why I decided to join the Buckminster College project is because I would have, I would have wanted a place like this when I was young. And I still, I'm still searching for that very much. Um, but I think it would also have been very helpful if I was a, a teenager. So in that sense, I, will, I would very much like to contribute to that. And also just to, um, to be part of it now.